Welcome to another 3ABN Today program. Thank you for joining us as you do each and every day. And thank you for your love and your prayers and financial support. I don't know what we'd do without it. Do you? Oh, we couldn't, we couldn't even be here without it. Mm -hmm. I have my lovely co-host today. And I should have you sitting here because it's no, really... No, no, no. No? No, you're in and the right place. Another time. Miss <laughs> Vaughn, so thank you for being here today. That's great. We have a special program today. We do. We have... Uh, they're part of our family. Yeah. <laughs> family members. We have the Lanny Wolf Trio with us. Yay. So I can hear you. Some of you going, oh, great. Praise the Lord. I can hear the folks at home already. Can yes, you? indeed. So somehow, Mr. Lanny and Marita and, and Lori, since that last program, you all have just gotten into the hearts of so many of the 3ABN viewers, and they just love what you do and how you do it. And there, we have something in common with all the folks that are watching at home. And that's Jesus. Amen. Amen. We can come from different backgrounds, whether it's different churches, different denominations. Right. But we have that thread that runs through Amen. everybody, the most Amen. important one and all, and that's Jesus Christ Amen. and Him crucified. Yes. And what an honor it is to have the Lanny Wolf Trio here today. And, of course, we have Mr. Lanny Wolf. And um, it's normally you do women first, but you <laughs> say in this case you do the best for last. So, oh. just teasing. All right, don't get uptight at home. I'm just Again. kidding. We love each other. Don't get uptight. Sometimes, Lori, people will write me and they'll say, you shouldn't talk like that to your viewers. Sometimes they don't know if I'm kidding and maybe I need to watch my mouth <laughs> maybe, a little bit. You, maybe you aren't. I love Lanny, of course, to do. <laughs> Sitting next to Lanny is Marita. Marita, you're no stranger to 3ABN. You've been coming the love past few years. 3ABN. Oh, we love you. I mean, you are an amazing woman of God. And uh, we love you, respect you, and every time you're here, I always feel, I like to be around her because I feel the presence of the Lord. Don't yes, you? oh, oh yes. yes. You, you just can tell Marita has the connection. Oh, she does. She has that connection. And, and so I blessing. never can think of her without thinking of my own daughter, Melody, who looks at her now as a, <laughs> right. another mom, you know, because yeah. uh, growing up, Melody, you were, the, the Lanny Wolf trio was on day and night, Lori, at our house. I mean, I any time they were on, and of course, Yours too, huh? Uh -huh. We'll talk about that in a minute. <laughs> but uh, Melody just loved your singing and loved you once she got to meet you a few years ago. And so um, thank you for being here and for what you do for the cause of God. And then we have Lori Carruthers. And Lori, we're so glad you're here. Thank you. And you hail all the way from? Frisco, Texas. Frisco, Texas. Yay! Oh, Yvonne, now where are you <laughs> yaying for? Because I lived in Dallas. Dallas, Dallas. <laughs> <laughs> Frisco is one of those. The big, the big you can't suburbs. help it. You love it. I know, I know. And that's, I want to just shout out to my mm -hmm. Dallas friends. Frisco people. But we, we finally brought her to God's country. <laughs> so, out here in the quiet and the peaceful yes. southern Illinois. Yes, that's but, true. But uh, any place is good where God is. Though, that's right. right. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. That is right. So, Lori, we want to get a little bit of your background. And the uh, last time you came and sang, you were kind of new with the Lanny Wolf Trio, but the story goes beyond that. It's not like you're just, you know, somebody who happened along that Lanny said, well, she's talented and great and we want a part of that. You go back how many years, if you don't mind saying, you know, <laughs> with the Lanny Wolf Trio? When's the first time you sang uh, as a Lanny Wolf Trio member? Well, I, well, I was 18, but 18. I knew every song. I knew every little riff. I knew <laughs> because it stayed on my record stack. You know, we always had the stacks, yeah. you right. know, and, and so it always stayed on my record stack. And um, I went to uh, a little Bible college in Jackson, Mississippi, where Lanny was the music, uh, Dean of Music. Okay. And um, I had no idea the trio was making any changes. Marita had two little girls that 
just needed their mama home every weekend. And so um, I tried out for Corral, which was the coveted, you know, the coveted position. And I was, I had a real bad cold that day. <laughs> and, and so I didn't even go check the list when I, it, it was put up. And so somebody said I made Corral. So I went to Corral and then after Corral was over, Lanny said, um, I'd like to see you in my office. And I thought, he's made a mistake. He's gonna tell me I, he's gonna tell me I, I didn't make Corral in D because I was sick that day and it's terrible. And it was that day he asked me to sing in the trio. And so my mom, of course, my mom was really thrilled about that, you know, but, and it, I spent the next three years um, going places I never dreamed or imagined. And I was on a plane usually every weekend. And, you know, for a little 18 year old girl from Wisconsin, that's pretty exciting. So, yeah, sure. so it, was, it was a great time in my life. Absolutely. And of course you had uh, Dave Peterson for many years. Maybe eight years. Eight yes. years. Uh -huh. And you kind of filled in also, I guess you, you and he. Uh, for a bit, I don't know if you took turns or no. Who sang first. No, when Dave when Dave left, he was he Dave went, and I he, got out at the same time. Yeah. Yes, oh, okay. Dave and Marita so actually both. at okay. the same time. Exited. Dave was working on his solo ministry, right? Uh -huh. So I had actually yeah. two slots. And what a, what a what a great uh, man and great man of God and great awesome. friend. And yeah. now resting in Jesus, waiting the second coming. I sure. Mean, how, how amazing is that? Yeah. And. Uh, so then you, what brought you back or what circumstances, you know, had you, are you available? In other words, you know, Lanny may say, I want you, but you've got a family. I get to see she and her husband, Mark, I think, uh, on, uh, is it YouTube or no, well, Facebook? We, yeah, we do Facebook. Facebook. We, we just sit at the piano on Thursday nights and we just sing, mm -hmm. you know, just. I love it, yeah. It's real organic. It's just, um, it's just something we love to do. But um, so Mark and I, my husband, Mark, and I, we travel out mm -hmm. a good bit, but... They both met at JCM. Yes, okay. Sir. He's, he's still taking care <laughs> <laughs> um, You know, I, Lanny, Lanny and I are great friends, mm -hmm. and we've been friends for a long time. We just, uh, and anytime we get to spend time together or just talk or, you know, anytime Mark and I can spend time with him. And so we were just talking on the phone one day, and I said, you know, this was after Dave had passed away and how much Dave had affected my life as a, as a mm -hmm. musician. He very much affected my life. He was such a worshiper. Mm -hmm. and, um, and I just said, you know, if you, need, if you need somebody to do some dates with you, I, I would okay. be glad to do it. And Mark, my husband, was fine with that. Mm -hmm. and, um, so, and so, you know, what was unique was the weekend that we came here in March. I had never sang with Marita. Oh, we had wow. never sung together. I had okay. never, ever, ever sung with Marita, and um, but it was it was as if we had always sung together because right. I had always listened <laughs> to the trio for. And I knew her, all of her inflections. I knew all of her. <laughs> I knew everything. So and you know you know the music that you listen to as a kid. That's the somehow you can like not yeah. sing one of those songs yeah. and then bam. It just comes up out of you, doesn't yes. it? You know, I'm talking about you, Bob. Yeah, I do. I do. <laughs> That's so awesome. It's so great to finally meet and sing with someone that you listen to mm -hmm. for so long yeah. and then you meet her and then you're singing with her it's like whoa what a blessing it's like the coolest thing for me because yeah. when she goes into that in the midst of his children and I'm like oh yeah <laughs> She's singing it. It's like, you know, it's like I was back. I'm listening to my yeah. records again, and then I'm thinking, yeah. oh, wait, I've got to come in. Yeah. <laughs> That's yeah. right. Yeah. Of, course, of course, I talk about Melody when she was really young listening to you all, but somebody had to buy the records. Uh, that was, somebody that was daddy. had to pay that for was daddy, and Somebody loved the music also, and that was me, of course, and so did her mother. And uh, so we're so glad that you guys are here. I know you're saying... We want to hear a lot of music, so we're going to quit talking for a bit. And what we're going to do, you, you all are going to get up and just uh, give us some praise and worship Amen. and whatever the Lord leads you to do. And yes. uh, we're going to set back and enjoy. We want you at home to uh, set back and pray. And, uh, and while we're doing this, while they're singing, the Holy Spirit, you know, can do a number of things at the same time. Isn't that great? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Not, yeah. Unlike me. Unlike me, you can do a number Multitask. Of That's right. You can multi multitask. But I'm sure that there are some of you who are watching for the first time mm. and you, you're tuning in and it's no accident that you're tuning in Amen. right now as they are ministering because Thank I you. believe that God wants to say something to you. It. So yes. it's my hope and prayer that 
wherever you're watching and listening from around the world, that as they're ministering in, in song, that as the Holy Spirit begins to speak to you, that you, if you're not a Christian, you'll accept Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. The songs that he's given Lanny are songs that lead people to the cross, to the foot of the cross. And I pray, it's my prayer and our prayer here yes. that each and every one of you, yes. if you're a Christian, and maybe you've kind of been on the, the, the sleep for a while, if I can say that. Mm -hmm. and, and maybe all of a sudden you say, you know what? I know Jesus is coming soon. Lord, I want a brand new touch yes. from you. God will give you that today. He will honor your request. So you sit back and enjoy. And uh, when it's over, if there's a few minutes left, we'll come back and maybe have a closing prayer with you. So right now, be blessed by the Lanny Wolf Trio. Have a nice day with Jesus. Have a nice day. Have a nice day with Jesus. Have a nice day. You may wish the sun would shine a little bit brighter, but when you got the Lord, it'll make your load a lot lighter. So have a nice day with Jesus. Have a nice day. Can wake up every morning with a smile upon your face just to know the Lord has kept you one more day. And no matter what the day may bring, you can face it with a smile, for the Lord will walk beside you all the way. Have a nice day with Jesus. Have a nice day. Have a nice day with Jesus. Have a nice day. You may wish the sun would shine a little bit brighter, but when you got the Lord, it'll make your load a lot lighter. So have a nice day with Jesus. Have a nice day. Anyone can sing when the sun is shining and everything seems to be all right. But it's a different story when you're talking about a rainy day. Oh, just let the Lord be your umbrella and he'll take you through the storm. Give the world a smile and let them hear you say, have a nice day. Jesus, have a nice day, have a nice day with Jesus, have a nice day. You may wish the sun would shine a little bit brighter, but when you got the Lord, it'll make your load a lot lighter. So have a nice day with Jesus, have a nice day. Sometimes I get so discouraged Oh, sometimes I get so blue Sometimes I get so downhearted That I don't know just what to do Then I hear a voice sweetly whisper child by grace will take you all the way that's when a fresh touch of desire yes. gives me strength to make you one more day there's a fresh touch of desire in my soul today a fresh touch of desire to go all the way for I've made up in my mind I'm gonna make it come what may there's a fresh touch of desire in my soul Sometimes the 
journey gets so weary and the mountains so hard to climb sometimes the burdens get so heavy till i wonder if victory shall be mine then a still small voice reminds me trials here well, there is soon be gone. That's when a fresh touch of desire gives me courage to keep pressing on. There's a fresh touch of desire in my soul today. There's a fresh touch of desire to go all the way for I've made up in my mind I'm gonna make it come what may there's a fresh touch of desire in my soul today And there he is. Yes, yes. That felt so good. Let's do it again. There's a fresh touch of desire in my soul today. There's a fresh touch of desire to go on the way. For I've made up in my mind. touch of desire in my soul today. Oh, sing, sing, Marita. They say a picture paints a thousand words, and if that's true, I know I could never really say what I'd like to say though I painted all my life away so I'll choose to say just a simple phrase that's been said before in so many ways for it best describes all that I feel inside it's simply, I love you. I love you, I love you, Lord, I love you. What more can I say but that I really love you? And I will try to live my life. So that he says it too. I love you. I love you. I really love you. So I've been singing these songs, it seems like my whole life. The Lanny Wolf songs. They came out when I was a teenager and I thought they were incredible and I would sing them from my heart and then I when I became 18 years old I began to sing with the trio and it was an incredible experience and I sang them again but now I'm singing them again at this part of my journey and when I sing about loving Jesus it's a whole different thing when you've when you've done the journey and you've when you've crossed the mountains and you've crossed the valleys and you've just had God as your only option. And I love him more than ever before. I loved you then. I love you now. But my 
much more now than then for in the in between I found you became my dearest friend and with each day you bring my way joy I've never known before and all along the way I lean upon you more and more and more than ever before. Lord, I love you more than ever before. Lord, I need you more than ever. to tell you I love you now more than ever before I love you now more than ever before Thank you Lord. Thank you Lord. The power of love. Amen. I was watching an award show. Don't remember which award show. It doesn't matter. Uh, don't remember who the guy was that received the award. And don't remember all the folks he was thanking. But he had to thank all the industry people. Had to thank all of his friends and loved ones. He finally worked his way around to saying, and I want to especially thank my children. But most of all, I want to thank my wife who captured my heart. 38 years ago, I turned off the TV at that moment and got out a piece of paper and wrote, Jesus, you've captured my heart. Here am I. Surrender completely all the days of my life. Nothing or no tear us apart, Jesus, you have captured my heart. Jesus, you've captured my heart, here am I, surrendered completely all the days of my life. My I'm so glad that I know the Lord today, and I'm so glad that God has given us another day. It just feels good to be here at 3 ABN again. It feels good just to know that we've been redeemed. I feel good. I feel good Just to know I've been redeemed Makes me feel good Oh, I feel good I feel good Just to know I've been redeemed Makes me feel good Oh, how well do I remember All the days I spent in sin With no thought of doing All the things I should but when the blessed Savior found me and he gently took me in, makes me want to shout hallelujah, I feel good. Oh, I feel good. I feel good. Just to know I've been redeemed makes me feel good. I feel good. I feel good. Just to know I've been redeemed makes me feel good. Now I'm on my way to heaven and I'm singing as I go. I'm so glad my name is written in the book. 
And just to know his blood has cleansed me And I'm ready now to go Makes me want to shout hallelujah I feel good, oh I feel good I feel good Just to know I've been redeemed Makes me feel good, hallelujah I feel good, I feel good Just to know I've been redeemed Makes me feel good to heaven yeah, sing it. and I'm singing as I go thank you Lord I'm so glad my name is written in the book and just to know his blood has cleansed me and I'm ready now to go makes me want to shout hallelujah I feel good oh I, I feel, feel good, good. I feel good Just to know I've been redeemed Makes me feel good Hallelujah I feel good I feel good Just to know I've been redeemed Makes me feel good Just to know I've been redeemed Makes me feel good Just to know I've been redeemed Makes me feel good I feel good That's as close as we're going to get to Southern Gospel. <laughs> Jesus be the Lord of all. Jesus be the Lord of all. Jesus be the Lord of all. The kingdoms of my heart. In my kingdoms of a world that's all my own kingdoms that are only seen by myself and God alone in the past when I tried to rule my world it just seemed to fall apart so please Jesus be the Lord of all the kingdoms of my My son Rob and I co-wrote this chorus that we're going to sing. It simply says, where I long to be. And we like to take our heart different places, but wherever Jesus is, is where I long to be. It simply goes like this. In your presence, Lord, that's where I long to be. You set my spirit free. I feel so close to heaven when I feel you close to me in your presence, Lord. That's where.
set my spirit free. I feel so close to heaven when I feel you close to me. In your presence, Lord, that's where the cares of life press heavy and my burdens get me down and I wonder if I'll make it through the day I just speak the name of Jesus and he turns everything around and heaven comes to earth and makes a way I feel heaven in this place. I feel heaven in this place. I feel heaven all around me in this place. I feel heaven in this place. I feel heaven in this place. I feel heaven all around me in this place. There's forgiveness for life's failures. If you ask, you can receive. For in his presence, fear and doubt all disappear. It matters not just what the need is. If you ask, you will receive. So reach out and touch the Lord, for he is he he's here he's there we are taking this his message to whoever will choose to watch or listen to this telecast today but you have to be the one who asks him to do it Whatever you need, it doesn't matter if it's forgiveness. You feel like you can't be forgiven. You've been too bad. He can forgive the worst of the sinners. It doesn't matter what the need is, but if you'll just ask, ask and you shall receive. And so while we're singing this again, I'd like for you right there in your room, in your home, in your car, wherever you are, reach out and say, Lord, I need you. I don't know anybody who doesn't need him. We, need, we all need something because we can't live without him. That's what we've been singing about, all these songs of love to Jesus and how much he loves us. And so this is where you reach out. You say, Jesus, I need healing. I need deliverance. I need comfort. I need someone to talk to. He'll be everything you need. So I feel healing in this place. I feel healing in this place. I feel healing all around me in this place. Oh, I feel Jesus in this place. Jesus is with us. I feel Jesus in this place i feel jesus all around us in this place surely the hallelujah presence thank you lord of the, the lord is in this place i can feel his mighty power and his grace I see glory on each face. Surely the presence of the Lord is in this place. Surely the presence of the Lord is in this place. I can feel his mighty power and his grace. I can hear the brush 
flash of angels' wings, I see glory on each face. Surely the presence of the Lord is in this place. tossed about upon the stormy sea the disciples woke the master crying Lord save us please then Jesus spoke with authority he commanded peace be still and instantly Obey the master's will. So many times I'm tossed about upon life's stormy sea. And though the winds of trouble blow, my Savior pilots me. I know peace be still. Guides my little boat. I'll not fear the winds or waves. For he who kept me safe this far will guide me all the way. There is peace in Jesus in a troubled world. So glad I have found there is peace in Jesus in a troubled world today. There is peace in Jesus in a troubled world today. There is peace. Jesus and the world can't take it away and though there's turmoil all around I'm so glad I have found there is peace in Jesus in a troubled world today We live in a troubled world today, and we are living in a time that we have been reading in the Bible about as long as we have been reading the Bible. And if you've read it through, you know that things happen at the end that uh, we are hopeful for, we're looking forward to. But there's going to be a part of this world that will not be enjoying this time because they're fearful. They are afraid, they don't know, they're not used to being so unsteady and being bombarded with negative things. They don't know what to believe. I just wanna encourage you today, get into the Word of God. Read His Word and you will get strength for any kind of day that comes. There are gonna be dark days, there will be trials. Even the children of God, we don't have all perfect days, but we have Jesus and He's all perfect. And he makes the things that look rough just smooth out like he did on that stormy sea when he said, peace be still. He's saying, peace be still. And there's a song that we did sing that says, Lord, you know I need a brand new touch. I feel that so many times. Even though I know him, I get to rejoice in all these songs of, about how much he loved me. And I, and I know 
all these wonderful things about the Lord, but if you don't know this, if it sounds foreign, what are they talking about? Joy and peace. How can they just sit by? We're not sitting by. We're getting ready. The Lord is coming soon. And as I was thinking about this singing today, I was thinking about these beautiful sets that they have here at 3ABN. And uh, you need to get a set set up in your life where you're getting ready for a change in the performance. We're not, we're not just performing. We're living real life. But you can live real life and have joy and peace abundantly. And so start setting your home in your heart up for a visit from the King of Kings. Get ready for peacefulness. Have beautiful paintings hanging around. And listen to the words of songs like these. And start picking up your positivity in your heart. Because we're getting ready to rejoice forever and forever after Jesus comes. So I love to say, Lord, you know, I need a brand new touch. My strength from yesterday is gone. But if you'll give me, Lord, another touch, I'll have the strength to carry on. Lord, you know how weak I really am. Even better than myself. But with your help, I know I Make it through the darkest night. Everything's gonna be all right. Lord, you know I need a brand new touch. Brand new touch. My strength from yesterday is gone. But if you'll give me, Lord, another touch. I'll have the strength to carry on. If you'll touch me, Lord, I'll have the strength to carry on. Won't you touch me, Lord? Give me the strength to carry on. Well, if I knew I had to have surgery that was life-threatening, and if I could afford it, I'd buy the best surgeon in the world. If I had to go to China or Japan or wherever I had to go, I'd want the best hands working on this heart. I live in Houston. We have a lot of great doctors in Houston, a lot of great hospitals in Houston. And so if I ever needed that kind of surgery, I would Google. I want the best heart surgeon in the world. Now, maybe I couldn't afford it. Maybe my hospitalization plan couldn't afford it. So God gave me a song which simply says, we believe in prayer, the power of prayer. Amen. Prayer changes things. Uh, so prayer can do something that not even the best surgeon sometimes can do because we serve a, a miracle working God. And so God can give you a new heart. Yeah. So this song simply says, you're in our prayers because God has told us that there's power in prayer. And so when you're in need, it's so comforting to know that the body of Christ is going to hold you in their prayers. But much better than being in their prayers, you're in God's hands. You're in the hands that form the galaxies and the universe and the world. You're in the hands that took clay and made you. You're in those hands. So this song simply says, you're in our prayers, but best of all, best of all, you're in God's hands. You're in a place 
You've never found yourself before And you're not sure Just what tomorrow has in store But where two or three are gathered God has promised to be there So now in faith believing We lift your name in prayer You're in our prayers We touch the throne of grace for you Your Father cares He's promised he would see you through you can be sure the great I am will make a way. Just trust his plan. You're in our prayers. But best of all, you're in God's hands. Sometimes you feel your falling tears are cried in vain. But God counts them all. And with compassion, he feels your pain. Acquainted with grief and sorrow, the Lord knows how much you can bear. He's laid you on our hearts, so now we lift you up in prayer. You're the throne of grace for you your father cares he's promised he would see you through you can be sure the great i am will make a way just trust his plan you're in our prayers but best of all you're in God's hands. And today you may find yourself in a situation that you've never found yourself before. You may feel like your back is up against the wall. You may be destitute. Maybe the doctors have given you a report that simply says, we're sorry. We can only do what we can do and we can only promise you this much more time. Maybe you have a situation in your family. Maybe relationships are broken and you don't know what to do. Maybe you've got a son or a daughter, a teenager that has lost their way and you've prayed and you prayed and you're just wondering if it's ever gonna happen. My father, he was an alcoholic and we prayed for him so many years and we just wondered, God, would it ever happen? God, will my father ever be saved? And we wondered if all the tears were in vain. But you know, after 16 years, God brought my father down to an altar. And my father got saved, hallelujah. I'm telling you, we serve a powerful God. We serve a mighty God. And so today, whatever you're facing, however dire the situation is, I'm here to tell you that God is bigger than your situation. And God is more powerful than whatever is working against you or your family or your situation. So, Marina, I want you to sing that verse one more time. And while she sings this, I'd like for you to just reach out. Maybe you want to raise your hand, if you can, towards the heavens. Maybe you want to, like, just join us. And the Bible says where two or three are gathered. You could ask anything, and so today, we're going to ask that God is going to reach out through the medium of television and this 3ABN ministry and touch you and change your situation, whatever it is. God is powerful, and God wants to change it all. Read a sing. Sometimes you feel your falling tears are crying in vain. But God counts them all. Yes, he does. And with compassion feels your pain. Acquainted with grief and sorrow, the Lord knows how much you can bear. 
He's laid you on our hearts, so now we lift you up in prayer. You're in our prayers. We touch the throne of grace for you. Your Father cares. He's promised he would see you through. You can be sure the great I am will make a way. Just trust his plan. You're in our prayers. But best of all, you're in God's hands. You're in our prayers. But best of all, Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. You know, it's so great to be able to worship with mm -hmm. them because Absolutely. that's what it's about. It's not just about mm -hmm. singing. It's about worshiping mm -hmm. the yes. Lord yeah. through the gifts that he's given. Yeah. And so what a blessing that is. I love Lori's voice, mm -hmm. but I, I love as much how she worships the Lord in, yes. in her singing. Yes. Very happy. And I'm sure that she, like the rest of us, has some cares on this earth but they all go out the window. When she's singing, you can tell she is concentrating right. on the Lord Jesus Christ. Got a Christ. connection. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And uh, we want to thank you all so much for, for being here. Now, are you still available to travel? Are you traveling much? And Available uh, to travel, yes. Okay. And we love to share what God's given us mm -hmm. with churches and concerts. And so if a church would like to host the mm -hmm. annual trio, uh, they can contact our office, Paradigm Music Productions, mm -hmm. for all the details. Mm -hmm. It's amazing to me that, that uh, God can use, you know, each of us, but can use you to the extent that he has, that your music literally is reaching people around the world, being mm -hmm. sung in, in, in literally languages we probably mm -hmm. hardly even heard of in some of the countries around the world. But I know I've been in places and I've heard it in Russia, and it's amazing, and you must feel humbled that God has been willing to use you, but we also understand you have to be willing to be used. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a joy <clears throat> to know that God passes something through your writing pen mm -hmm. that is anointed mm -hmm. because the anointing is what God does that I can't do. Yeah. Okay. And so when God passes something through my writing pen uh, with his anointing that connects, touches the hearts of people, uh, it's so humbling yeah. mm -hmm. and gratifying to know that God uses us. Mm -hmm. I thought I was going to be an architect when I started out mm -hmm. build buildings, but it's been so much more gratifying and rewarding mm -hmm. to know that I've uh, been able to build young people to become songwriters, ministers of music, Absolutely. and that I've been able to build songs that would minister to people all over the world. Amen. Exciting. Amen. What we want to do, we want to have a prayer because at the beginning of the program, we asked people to really, we, we felt like God wants to do something in all yeah. of our lives. Amen. And I know some of you watching didn't intend to, but you got caught up in it. That's the Holy Spirit. Amen. And so I'm going to ask Yvonne to say a special prayer for each of our viewers. Sure. Would you? Father, we just thank you so very much that you've allowed us to come together today to hear this beautiful music and to worship you. Mm -hmm. For you're so worthy of worship, Lord. Yes. yes Lord. And there are people watching who might not know you. Mm -hmm. Yes. But Lord, to know you is to love you. Amen. You're so Thank you, good. Jesus. You're so gracious to us. Mm -hmm. And so I pray that today will be the yes. open door for yes, those Jesus. who have not known you to get to know you. And then for those who do, to recommit their lives to yes. you, Lord. Help us all to get closer to yes, you. Yes, Lord. So that yes. when you come, Lord Jesus, we'll be ready yes. mm -hmm. to meet you in the air, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 What I'd like to do is uh, we're just going to take a, a few seconds, normally longer, but you can always contact us here. I'd like to put up Lanny's address for maybe 15 or 20 seconds. But look how quick they are. Oh, Ooh. they're on. Okay. They're they're on right. the Music Productions, P.O. Box 1957, Sugarland, Texas, 77478. 1957, there's a phone number. 
And also, um, if you didn't get time to get this down, just give us a call and we'll give you the address. Well, I hate to say this. Thank you again so much, but I hate to say this for those of you at home. Our time is all gone. Till we see you next time, may the Lord richly bless you abundantly more than you could ever ask.